What's new, everyone? Coach P here with our next read aloud for our March Madness bracket. This book is Every Night is Pizza Night, written by J. Kenji Lopez Alt. Tonight is pizza night. So was last night. We're making pizza tomorrow, too. Actually, every night is pizza night. Because pizza is the best. This is a scientific fact. I have done the test to prove it. Mr. Gonzalez knows my shopping list by heart. Everyone in the neighborhood shops at his store. A plain cheese can't be topped, Peepo. But how about some pepperoni this time? I admit, not everyone wants pizza all the time. Exhibit A, my papa. I long for a grapefruit. Mama says, think of what you're missing. There's chicken pot pie, chicken not pie, five bean chili, don't be silly, Peking duck, Peking yuck, French onion soup, French onion Okay, but how do you know pizza is best if you never try anything else? What if mama's right? My science teacher, Miss Buffoon, says a good scientist always wants more data. Data, says Papa, you have the whole neighborhood. All right, I'll do it. I do not need to. I do not want to, but I will try other foods. I will do it for science. My neighbor, Eugene, thinks the best food is bibimbap. That's bibimbap. He is wrong. This is our old family recipe, he says. My pizza is not an old family recipe. Papa found it on a bag of flour. The colors in the old stone bowl are so pretty, I can't blink, even though I know I'm supposed to. It smells spicy. It smells stinky. It does not smell like pizza. I do not need it. I do not want it, but I will try it for science. Yeah, it is spicy. Crunchy carrots, cool cucumbers, and I love it. And rice, you are so delicious, and there are so many of you. Bibimbap, you are a taste sensation. If being stinky is wrong, I don't want to be right. This is new. This is exciting. This is, is this, is this better than pizza? Thank you, and excuse me. But I need more data. I stop at the end of the hall where Farah lives. She says the best food is tagine. That's tagine. You make it by cooking a bit of this and a little of that under a clay hat. When I smell tagine cooking, it reminds me of my old home, she says. When I smell pizza cooking, it reminds me of how much I love pizza. At the markets, you can get just the right spices for chicken, chickpeas, or even camel, she says. Do camels like pizza? Probably, yes. The tagine is ready, so Farah lifts up the lid. Hmm, chicken is okay, and so are apricots, but together, wild. I do not need it, I do not want it, but I will try it. I will try, I try another bite, then another, just to be sure. I can't stop, I am a tagine machine. Chicken and apricots, you do belong together, together forever in my belly. And spices, show me the flavors, is this, is this better than pizza? Thank you, Farah, but I need more data. Dakota lives down the street. She's got a pot on her stove big enough for Mutsy to take a bath in. This is my mama's red beans and rice. It's the best way to make someone feel good, maybe even better than a hug, she tells me. So when Papa gets sad, I cook up a big old pot for him. Does it always work, I ask? It never hurts, Dakota tells me. The beans look like big shiny beetles swimming in mud. At least I know rice is nice. I do not need it, I do not want it, 
but I will try it. Once you've had bibimbap and tagine, nothing can surprise. Holy pepperoni, this is good! Garlicky garlic, peppery peppers, celery cellars. It's like a great big hug around my belly. This is, is this, is this better than pizza? I still need more data. Ronnie and Donnie run the dumpling truck down the street. They say dumplings are the best. First, Donnie shared his dumplings with just me, Ronnie says. Then we shared them with all our friends, says Donnie. And now we share them with the whole neighborhood. They look good. They look warm and cozy. But the best? I kind of need to try them, just for science, of course. Careful, Peepo, they're really juicy. Back off, Donnie, I'm a scientist. Ah, dumplings! Your middles are so hot and juicy. Your skins are so thin and stretchy. Little purses of delight. Are you better than pizza? Data, Donnie, data. I pull out my emergency pizza slice and take a bite. Then another dumpling. Then more pizza. Then another dumpling. Dumplings are good, but pizza is still the best. It is a scientific fact. So how can so many happy people be so wrong? I will ask Mr. Gonzalez. He knows everyone. He's tried everything. He will know what the best food is. Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Gonzalez, I shout. What is it, Peepo? I have to know, is pizza the best food in the world? Of course it is. He agrees. I knew it. I knew it all along. Of course pizza is the best. Peepo, pizza is the best, but it's not the only best. Huh? When it's cold out, the best is matzo ball soup from Levi's. When I want an extra rich treat, it's Vincenzo's chocolate cake. Famous Fred's Famous Frank's are the best when I'm in a rush. Or maybe that's Mrs. Mendoza's empanadas. Sometimes I just want hot buttered popcorn and nothing else will do. And of course, my mother's spicy green pozzoli soup is always the best. I say thank you and walk home. Is Mr. Gonzalez right? How can so many things be the best? How can science explain that? Pizza always tastes good. Does that make it the best? Is the best food a family recipe? Is it something that reminds you of home? Is the best food the kind that says, I love you, without making a sound? Or is it just something you like to share? I've got to perform an experiment. Time to get baking. Pizza party, test 99. Tajine party at my house next week. Pipo, your pizza is the best. Best pizza ever. The science is in. According to my new data, pizza really is the best. Best food ever. Family plus pizza equals love. But I'm pretty sure there are still a lot more bests I can try. Papa asks, what's for dinner tomorrow, Pipo? How about that green pozzoli soup? I hear it's the best. Ingredients for Pipo's Pizza. All right, I hope you enjoyed our read aloud for today. Every Night is Pizza Night, written by J. Kenji Lopez-Alt. See you next time.